Hello everyone, Xenia and Samir here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, we did some... We, we, we did the last of a hero's quest, technically. Or a hero's quest. This time, I unlocked all the hero quests. And, let's just say, these are... These are annoying to do, to unlock. Because I... Because this is... Because nothing... At least, at the time we're recording, has nothing that states that yeah no you got to do this for this so I, I had to do it via trial and error which yeah wasn't fun. First we'll be doing Junipers so <sighs> what the sparks all this? What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Why little Junpak? You're late. Consul. You know I can't abide tardiness. <sighs> Too much fun and games, is it? <laughs> Life is not a bed of roses, my dear. You must be aware of that, surely. What are you after? My, my. Why so sour, my little Uro berries? I haven't the slightest inclination to involve myself in a fracas with you. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here? Dear, I am positively quaking, quaking in my boots. I am here to see my little June bug, nothing more. And you expect us to believe that? <laughs> you may set your hearts aflutter with whatever feelings you desire, for all I care. If I must confide in you a detail, I would like you to know that it was I who dealt those monsters a swift demise. You? I can confirm that. If it weren't for the console, we might not even be standing here. <sighs> Spark. If only I hadn't screwed up. You're injured. Yeah. My fault. I got cocky. Monsters got a free swipe in. You may find it hard to believe, but I'm quite the assiduous type. I've been keeping a close watch on my fruitlings. But now that little June bug has returned, there is yet more work to be done. You're not angry about the flame clock? Angry? You were the ones who broke it. You aren't going to apologize, are you? Besides, I've been aware of the circumstances for a while now. It has to be said, it's a delicate topic. Delicate? Yes, delicate. Do your ears need rinsing, Puppet? I don't know if you're aware, but the people of Tao themselves chose to break the clock. It's hardly my place to complain. I happen to be quite the individualist. <laughs> don't you know? You're not making a lick of sense. Now, Junebug. Be a sweet pea, and go on ahead, will you? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Uh, Noah, we're just letting Juniper go? Juniper said not to worry, so let's not worry. That's the spirit. Perhaps you and I will be able to see eye to eye after all. Oh, one thing. I have a job for you, Uro Berries, if you would be so kind. A job? For us. For you, I'd like you to procure some twine turf. For me. Yeah? And what are you using it for? Someone's got to remove those nuisances for new life to settle in. But preparations will need to be in place if we are to dispose of them. Which is where the twine turf comes in. Twine turf? I think I saw some of that in Yellowgrove. Well, look at that. <laughs> How fortuitous. That's a mere stone's throw from here. Well, it's not far. That's true. See? It wouldn't kill you to fetch some. I know what you're thinking. But these things really are going to be a problem for us otherwise, so we'd really appreciate the help. No, I understand. Let's go then. Survivors. 
She never specifies some relations have changed. The monsters. She just said nuisances. So she means the colony folk. Sneaky. Quite. I'm, I'm honestly. No one picked up on that, but hey. In universe, it also makes sense that she's thinking of <gasps> about the monsters. But this. Then again, it might just be because we know about Mobius, so. Mo enough about Mobius and these are two you putting, individual guys? things. So. This is what we were after! You think this'll do? Don't see why not. I wonder how the console's going to use this stuff to get rid of the monsters. I haven't a clue. Everyone! Juniper, are you alright? Yes. And the colony is unharmed, thank goodness. Hey, Juniper. Has your console always been like that? The console? Mmm, I don't really recall. You said she pretty much left you to it, right? That's correct. The console rarely ever visits us. We've met a couple of times, but I barely have any recollection of us talking. So why on Ionios would she start involving herself now? I say we get this job done, and then we give her a piece of our mind. I mean, I don't really sense any hostility from it. Maybe it's fine. You have to admit, she's got a way of getting on your nerves, right? Still, she is a console. If we underestimate her, will no doubt be in for a world of pain. Noted. But even if we do have to fight, it'd have to be outside of the colony. Yeah. We don't know what she might be planning to do with the people of Colony Tau. We should try to head back soon. Just warp back. Whew. I'll report into the console. Is that enough for you? Wonderful, my dear Ouroberries. Quite the speedy little workers, aren't you? So? How are you gonna use the stuff? We're going to make it into a pulp and throw it into a bonfire. I hear it has the most fragrant aroma. No doubt the creatures will be drawn straight to it. A little assistance wouldn't go amiss. You! Huh? Ah, uh, uh, yes! What a farce. They're drawn to the scent, are they? What is it, Tyon? You picked up on something? Um, not exactly. Oh, what is this? Oh, I do so hate the forest. What with all the bugs? Um, right. Well, they do say that bugs hate smoke. You know the type of insect I hate the most. The creepy, crawly kind. Oh, ghastly things. How about you? Me? I've seen them all before. Can't say they bother me. Oh. Such a tedious little corner of Ionios. Nothing much ever happens around here, does it? No, not really. I'm... Well, of course you would be. State the obvious. Why don't you? Oh, right. Sorry, ma'am. Now throw in the plants I gave you, and we should be all set for the preparatory phase. Uh, where are you going, ma'am? Oh, you know, I thought I might witness a little of that Ouroberry magic for myself. The smoke rising from the bonfire acts like a signal flare to indicate the start of battle. Yeah? What's that got to do with... Crap! They're back! Again! What? Looks like you've got your work cut out for you. Oh, yes. You had better live your lives to their very fullest.
What? These monsters! <laughs> Don't ask me! They just showed up out of the blue and started heading this way! These monsters aren't from the forest. Why would they have come in so far? I have my hunches. No point guessing right now. Let's send these guys packing! The appropriate tactic in this situation is fight first, wine later, mate. Yeah, I know, man. Makes me feel better, though. <sighs> My dear, sweet little Junebug, I'll tell you what I'm trying to accomplish here. I want to see Colony Tau performing to the very best of their ability. What? I want them to wallow in regret, to agonize, tremble, suffer, rise, convulse, and then die. You see, the look on their faces at that moment is the most delectable thing in the world to me. Consul, I don't understand. All that you are. Distilled at the cusp of death to a perfect fraction of unbearable human... However, teetering there on the edge of oblivion is also the moment in which you shine the brightest. The terror of death flickering in your minds, fighting madly in the hope that you still might live. A newborn babe could never hope to match that expression of horror. Only the march of time can crystallize those grimaces of wrath and agony. Aged to perfection, like a fine wine. <sighs> They're coming our way, too! <laughs> Never a dull moment around here. Come now, Junebug. Chin up. I want to see you at the peak of your brilliance. Mm. I can't savor your emotions if you don't ripen to your fullest now, can I? them in, but I did get a taste of fear and despair. And for that, I'm truly grateful. You must have felt such sweet relief when they broke the flame clock. How does it feel to have all that taken away from you? You'd better pick up the pace, or my little monsters will flock to you like a free meal. It's the smoke. Put out the fire! Stop the smoke! Oh! <laughs> I think it's a little late for that. I had my doubts, but I never thought you were so brazen as to do this openly. When you crush and burn those plants, they make the most irresistible aroma of the monsters. So you lied about getting rid of them? I said that nuisances had to be removed. Who said anything about monsters? 
I was hoping to remove everyone, save little Junebug here, and make way for new growth in the forest. You don't have to spout a load of shite, you know that. I was hoping to see them savaged by hungry beasts, but, oh well, your efforts have managed to ruin a perfectly good tragedy. Again. Again? Did I not mention? Not a few days ago, I recall that you intervened. I was hoping to cull some fruit flavors before their homecoming. Ah, the monsters from before. Yes, that's it. That's the way. It's the monsters that you encountered on that fateful day. The very same. Yes, I led them there myself. If they had feasted on your husks, I could have thrown them into the colony and given you such a fright. Why? Why would you think of doing such an awful thing? I took you to be smarter than this, Junebug. Be a dear and fire up those synapses for me. Colony Tower was ready to accept their fate. I settled on the monsters as the best way to deal with that. I thought perhaps if you were to see your friends torn apart before your very eyes, it might give you the, the stimulus you need. You're beyond help. When the flame clock was destroyed and you were given the chance to live, you also came to fear death and gained the ability to suffer as you are doing right now. You've done well, my little Uro berries. Yes, indeed. The look on your faces is not something so easily reproduced. Ah, how long I've waited just to see those contortions. The perfect moment. Once matured, then savored. I'll not let you die easily. I shall see to that. You consoles are all the same, aren't you? How can you toy with people's lives like this? You think this is fun? Oh, I just love teasing my favorite playthings. Is that really so difficult to understand? Well, it's been lovely talking to you, but I'm afraid time's getting on. If you despise me so much, slay my little pet and try taking me on yourselves. defeated them? All of them? Well, you're nothing if not tenacious. If you stay away from our colony without interfering, just as you always have, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. Without interfering? You really are a model child, aren't you? I told you, I consider myself the assiduous type. Why do you think that so few make it to homecoming? In this pit that none know about or care about? Why do you think there are few threats to your colony? Yet your flame clock teeters on the brink of collapse. I... Well... Let me explain it to you in simple terms that even you will be able to understand. I made it that way. It was by my design. What? You really are the lowest of the low! I had the soldiers die when approaching their final term. I conceived your peculiar traditions, and I sent monsters to you. And when your numbers were culled just enough to maintain the colony, I sent you new recruits. When you lacked a source of life with which to fill the clock, I placed monsters of adequate strength for your sucker. And it has all been for this moment. Ah, oh, the length I went to just for today. I cannot begin to understand you. Countless hours of painstaking effort went into this. But I am so very glad to have met a soul like yourself, little Junebug. Even your rage brings me delight. The fact that you want to kill me where I stand, even more rapturous. 
I shall contort your face into an expression of pure agony. I shall tear down all that you are. The people of Colony Tau have been fighting just to survive day to day. We won't allow you to have your way anymore. This ends here. Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. My actions are unforgivable. Come then. Do your worst. If you don't kill me now... You have to watch as I slaughter your precious colony Tau before your very eyes! My loss. You've such power, my Ouroboros. Consul you. Oh, yes. Now that right there is the face I wanted to see. I'm afraid. I won't be dying here alone. I'm going to kill off all your dear sweet friends, one by one. You will remember exactly how they died. And you will regret it every waking moment. Crashing your own ineptitude, wishing you'd done more. Avenged though they were, aimless anger will consume you. How? Very exquisite the look on your face will be then. She's lost the plot, big time. This was our victory. You don't need to listen to this. Colony Tau. What about them? We made a promise that we'd survive. And so, the Consul's twisted games are something I cannot entertain. <gasps> June Buck, so you really can make a face like that too. And now I must wonder, did I do the right thing in the end? I think that that's what life is all about, searching to find that answer. Yes, how true. <sighs> Thanks, yet again. Feels like you're always saving our bacon. Now, none of that. We're all mates now, remember? Yeah, Lance is right. We're all in this together. <sighs> Juniper, what's wrong? Life is cruel, isn't it? Just when I stopped waiting for death and began to live for myself, why must it be so hard? It's just as the Consul said, expecting death would have been so much easier. You're not wrong. It's not easy. And it never will be. Sure, but it's still a sight better than doing sparkle and giving up. That's also true. You're right. Life is a struggle, but I think I'd like to go on fighting for a little while longer at least. 
Nah, you've got to dream bigger. Fight until the bitter end! <laughs> Perhaps I should. Even without a console, our goal remains the same. That's right. And we've got to start by harvesting the crops. Right, yes. We have our hands full as it is trying to look after ourselves right now. Sure. Well, if you ever find yourself having a hard time, we'll be there to help. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, and see you soon. Reasons to evolve. Food shortages. Sounds pretty grim. They've been worn down mentally and physically. We have to act now. Fields. <sighs> Time to eat then, huh? No. Hey, man. I just wanted to say, uh... You're doing a pretty good job. Why not? We have you to be cheering me up. Makes it all the more precious. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? See some relations have changed.
this is a very boring quest already. And not much spoken dialogue. Oh, double, please, please. It's just so verdant here. Very different from back home. Both places have their merits. I like Colony 9 too, of course. This field, how ample its furrows. They seem to be growing nicely. Yes, they should be ready for harvest soon. It's best to pick them just as soon as they start to wilt. You let them wilt, even after nurturing them so carefully. You get a larger yield this way. Incredible. So, they're not actually dying, but rather making way for new life, much like us. Now that you mention it, yes. All life is built upon some kind of sacrifice. Indeed. Life is a cruel thing. Now that we are free of our flame clock, I am all the more aware of this fact. I don't believe we've been acquainted yet. Zeon, commander of Colony 9. I do apologize for this sudden visit. Juniper, I also act in the capacity of commander for Colony Tau. We're here today to ask for your advice. Oh, do tell. Hmm. In the natural world, some plants contain toxic elements, usually to fend off predators. I'd guess that these belong to that category. I was afraid of this. It must have been frustrating. Yes. For the whole colony. I don't mind the toil myself. Such was my decision. But as for my friends, I'd rather they simply enjoy the result. I understand. I know that feeling. I'd like to suggest a different crop, drawing from our experience here. Would you wait here a moment, please? Phew! Finally caught up! You took your sweet time. Sorry, I lost my bearings. So, uh, did you figure out the issue? Oh, sorry to keep you. Look here. These will grow even in the harshest. Oh. <laughs> and you are? Uh, Kite! Lieutenant, from uh, Connolly 9. Hello, Kite. I'm Juniper. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh! What the... Why is my chest... Um... Uh, just ignore me. I'm fine. Are those... my imitators? Oh, yeah. They do look similar. They're not, right? No. They're toxic. I knew it. This is one of Agnes's kite. It's true. When considering root vegetables, poisonous tubers are relatively common. However, these spongy birds are... Huh? It's sweet. Already more than edible. You mean it's safe? Really? Yes. I think I'd bake them first myself. Silence, Lance. These buds, they're the pride and joy of our colony. I'm so glad you like them. Really. I don't... Where do you find this trust? These were our enemies. Yes, but not now. I get that. I know that. But still, if only you weren't Agnion. I'm sorry we put you through that. It's perfectly fine. I think you should talk to your soldier in private, though. Let me be clear. We do not bear any ill will toward Colony Tower, nor do we... I didn't mean as a commander. More as one person to another. Your friends. Didn't you want them to be happy? Rather than toiling and struggling in vain? Uh. And one more thing. The pivotal factor is the soil. Soil? Check to make sure that there's earth wormwood growing in your fields. 
I'll forward the steps you'll need to take to your iris for reference. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. I'm just pleasantly surprised at how earnest you are. I'll take a look as soon as we're back at the colony. Oh, and if you've any problems on your end, would you allow us to lend our support? Problems? It wouldn't feel right if the goodwill only went one way. Am I right? I understand. Let me consider. I'm glad we could talk. We'll make some wonderful fields yet. I look forward to that day. I see some relations have changed. Smell. This earth is what matters. Hey, you know what happens if you pull out earthworm? Its roots wriggle around and stuff like they're alive. Gives me the creeps. Stop trying to worm your way out of this. According to Juniper's information, the presence of earthworm wood improves the soil's drainage. In other words, it makes for earth that is best suited for potato growing. All right, already. I guess we just get on with it, yeah? We just get on with it. Can't find a single one of them. I guess it's not the best soil. I knew it was just some kind of trick. There was no way it was gonna be that easy. Look here, you. Enough, Lance. Kind. I know you're worried about the fields. Come over here and let's talk. No need. I don't have anything to say to you. Right. Um, we probably want to check out some other sites, I guess. Right. There should be some untended land not far from the colony. Let's Sorry do a sweet. I did your story point. We'll update you if we find anything. I'm literally using some advice. Spot. What's wrong with me? So, ah, uh, forgot. Looks like colony relations have changed. <laughs> forgot that they also have a video. I see some relations have changed. That's what I'm trying to. Scroll down. A video unrelated to Xenoblade. I have a feeling it's gonna be one of the further away ones, but There we go! Earthworm wood! Ugh. Don't worry, it's not gonna bite. I'm not worried about it biting. Looks like we found our spot. I'll inform Kite. You think he'll actually help us? Don't worry. He's a bit delicate in some areas, but when he starts something, he will see it through. Hmm? What is it? Uh, lost contact. What a jerk. Now he won't take your calls. Whoa, now. We should probably hear his side of the story, yeah? Let's stop stirring the pot. I've already talked to him, but it didn't prove very effective. He's taking this personally, so it'll probably take some time. Both of you have been too quick to judge. Don't be so hasty. Hasty? It's like Juniper said. You need to speak to him man to man, not soldier to soldier. Like how you talk to Lance. Oh, yeah. Why are you and Lance always fighting anyway? He just gets on my nerves. Sorry, what? 
right back at you now. Excuse me? I don't think that counts as fighting, Senna. Yeah, they're just having some banter. That's how you should be with Kai, too. You're always talking on a commander lieutenant level. I hadn't realized. So I've been issuing him orders instead of talking to him on an equal foot? Talk to him again. I think it'll go better this time. Yes. Perhaps it will. I'll try. Hey, Kite. What do you want? We've good news. We found a plot that would be perfect for farming. Really? That's great! Uh, I mean, well, that's just great in the eye rolling sense. So you won't help us out? Well, I never said that. Talk to us, boss. You're gonna get your hands muddy or not? Yes. All right? I'll do it. I'll do my snuffing job. Okay, so, what are we planting? Spongy spuds. Juniper's already told us how to grow them. Oh, here we go again. Don't grumble. That potato was truly delicious. Fine. Whatever. Just give me the spuds. Uh. What? Of course. We still need potatoes to plant. You didn't get them ready? Uh, we were so focused on looking for earthworm wood. It happens. This isn't like you, Commander. Did you eat something funky? Nobody's perfect. Even the most scrupulous perfectionist is liable to err... ...on occasion. All right. Just hurry up and get some. Spongy spuds, right? Let's start with about ten of those. We'll gather them as fast as we can. Shall we meet again in the fields? Sure thing. Just send me the location by Iris. I see some relations have changed. Exactly. Happy about having to search for god damn potatoes. That's not your everyday job. We're sliding down. Looks like we can go on from here. Yep, we can get them all. Huh. Here I was told this would be the most annoying bit. Unless we have to actually grow them, which I... I'm not looking forward to that. Now we can finally get planting. No, that step comes last. First, we need to till the soil so that the seed potatoes can take root more easily. So what's that actually mean? Till? I think I'm a bit lost. You toss the soil to trap the air in it, it seems. Now, according to Juniper, there are three main layers of soil. Yeah, yeah, so we just rough it up a bit. I get you. Lands. The crudeness of your summaries never ceases to amaze me. There's not much point to it all, though. 
is there? Come on now. Don't be like that. Let's just do what we can. It'll only take two ticks. You and your ticks, man. It's not about speed. We need precision here, folks. Just follow the procedure I sent to your irises. Ask me if there's anything you're unclear on. Okay then, guys. Let's do this. Good. That was pretty fun, hey, Mimi? And now we water them. Ugh, I wish I was the one being watered. I stink of dirt. Should we wait for the rain in this instance? Yeah, I think it's best if we let nature take care of the rest. I get the feeling we should interfere as little as possible. But rainfall isn't always guaranteed. If you rely too much on the weather, it may come back to bite you. Then... What if you control soil humidity as you wait for the rain? And if ever the rain doesn't come for a while, then you can water your crops yourself. That sounds smart. Let's wait a while and see how things unfold. You just leave that to us. Oh, what? Zeon and the others aren't going to stick around here forever. Who else is there? Well, besides, it'll only take two ticks. Kind. Can I trust you to handle? Yeah, go on then. Come back and have a look after the rain, though, would you? Right. We'll do that. And... If only my presence brought the rain. Once again, I'm powerless. Indeed. That's definitely where the problem lies. Now, I heard there's a specific NPC. I don't know if they're named or not. There's an NPC that's a knob on. Time to eat then, no? That can control the weather here to make things easier. Problem is, not only do I not know who it is, I don't know where they are. All I was told was in the same area as. Uh, there's so much choice. Colony 9. Which, yeah, one one thing I'm not exactly happy with. Nope. Granted, I could just... System. Change time. Change time. Looks like it is. I'm a bit angry. <laughs> I probably should have figured. Splish splash. Good to add more names. So, uh, why isn't anything budding? The seed potatoes are rotting. 
Perhaps we gave them too much water. Oh, no. Does the soil not drain properly? Or was it something else? It's my fault. I was giving them extra water from time to time, because I didn't want them drying out. Fox! I thought I was being careful. Never considered that I might be overdoing it. <sighs> well, we'll just have to try this again. Let's wait for the next rainy spell. Sorry, guys. Don't blame it on yourself. Yeah, but if I hadn't done this, we wouldn't have to... Oh, if only! What's done is done, man. You can't change the past. So let's just recoup our losses and do even better next time round. Huh. That's a good attitude, Kite. I like it. I'm good either way, to be honest. Huh. Classic Eastman. Guess I'll stick it out for a while longer. Thanks, Kite. Credit where it's due? That was actually pretty good. His words came from the heart. I think that's why it resonated with them. Kite's always been annoyed at being second best. He knows the frustration of not living up to his own standards. And that really struck a chord. Complimenting others' weak points has always been a talent of his. It's something I could never do. Hey! I think we'll go ahead and till the soil again. Take out the rotted spuds. So, if you don't mind... Got it. We'll grab a new batch for you. I'm really sorry about this. We'll need you to get ten more seed potatoes, then. Don't worry. We'll pick a really good selection this time. Just you wait. <sighs> I'm gonna go crazy. Crazy because of potatoes. We're sliding down! Hopefully, we can get 10 more. Oh, we got a really good batch. I've already got 6. I think. 7. Yes, this is the way forward. There we go. Ten. Whoa! If I have to search for more spuds, I'm going to be angry. Also, love. Oh, good. We actually got rain, so we can quickly do this. Now we wait for the rain. Come on, buds. Start your budding already. I've got a good feeling about this one. <sighs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Game, that's mean. That's mean. <laughs> Splash Splash. Yes. You better not. Good. Spectacular. Now, someone better not mess this up. I want this quest done because I don't like Zeon's class. Did it! They're budding! 
Talk about suspenseful. I'm and Anna excited for yummy harvest. Hope they grow up big and strong. Yeah, we need to take good care of them. Looks like it's going well. Indeed. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief. We'll want to take care of the fertilizer now, right? How do we distribute it? Actually, I have just the person for that. Earl's a dab hand at gardening. I'm sure he'll be able to help us out if we explain our situation. I'd appreciate that. Incidentally, where did Kite go? Stormed off after saying he'd done his field tending duty. Guess he's still not over it. I suppose it's time for us to pack up. We can't just leave that guy alone. He's always been there for us, through thick and thin. I know. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure my lieutenant gets the care he deserves. Will do. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Earl will explain it for you, but you know the fertilizer? Seems you make it by crushing up seeds, bones, and plants, and mixing it all together. Oh, and he also said that having a few helix conches on you would save him some trouble. You'll get that done in ten ticks. Or else. <laughs> that might be a little tight for us, but we can certainly try. I see some relations have changed. If we just have to head straight over, then... <laughs> If we've already got all the stuff um, we just shoot over, that's great. This smell. Now, what was it we needed? <laughs> we've already got the healing sconches. Now let's go to the patch. Apologies, but I have to find out. You have to find out what, Zion? Whoa! They got so big! Fields are bursting with lively! Applying fertilizer ought to further foster their growth. So we just sprinkle the stuff on top and then we're done. Wrong. They need to be able to absorb the nutrition easily. So first, we combine the fertilizer with some soil. Then you spread the mixture around the roots. So specific. I've more or less memorized Juniper's info now. Let me know if there's anything you're unsure of. I can see his time in the survey branch has seeped in, right down to his marrow. I suspect he might have actually been born with it. He's just the meticulous type. That's about all we can ask for. I'm grateful. I'll let him know. All right. Guess it's back to the grindstone. Now to wait for more rainfall. Oh, I'm shaking with excitement. Are you really? Well, yeah. We all worked hard for this. You tell him, love. Let's see what the coming rain brings. Yeah! Let's quickly get that rain. Kazooie. Splash splash. You, you better not fail. Uh, splash splash. You shouldn't need splash splash. Splash, splash, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to throw you into that water until you succeed. Thank you. The one up on I absolutely hate. Okay, that's Tatsu, second best. These little guys have come a long way. They in springtime of youth. Growing up into fine young potatoes. Nothing gets Manana excited like the prospect of a full belly. Can you blame her? Resounding no. Huh? Why have they changed colour? Huh? Time to harvest them yet, surely. I dread to think so. 
but it could be one of the diseases mentioned in the reference materials. The damage seems to spread from the lesions here, on the root. They bear resemblance to the black rot. Ah, oh, they better not be. That's supposed to cause rapid decay. Spreads easily, too. Let's check the others for similar symptoms. On the double. Lend me a hand, everyone. Oh. Find more of those stupid spuds and then have to do the rain. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? I love how this has to be a discussion point. No. Just... Where to from here? If you know what it is, you don't need to discuss it. You're wasting more time. I swear I'll save you. Don't film me now. That looks to be all of them. We'll have to monitor them for a short while. Take note of the state of the stems, not just the color of the leaves. We should fix up the soil too, right? Think so. It's supposed to be bad if the underground bits are exposed to light. Might as well pull up the weeds while we're at it too, huh? Don't pull the potatoes themselves out. Mate, I can tell the difference. And then we hope for rain. <laughs> What's wrong? Huh. I was just thinking how times change. It wasn't so long ago that my soul thoughts were about keeping the flame clock topped up. Now here I am, worrying about soil and potatoes, looking up at the sky. I could never have imagined myself in such a position. True. Who'd have thought you'd chomp on a raw potato or admit to lacking a spine? <laughs> Please, don't remind me. I feel flushed just thinking about it. But I think we've grown a lot closer as a result. I feel like I know you better. Sometimes you don't really get to know someone until you've clashed first and then sorted out your differences. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? Anyway, I think we've done what we can here. Let's report back into Juniper. Hopefully this will be the end of this quest, because god damn. I don't want to deal with more potatoes. Plus I want to get my lunch.
<sighs> Sounds a little rowdy over there. Uh, is that? It came from over there. Let's hurry. For the fields! For the fields! You are not getting through me! I won't let their efforts go to waste! Kite! You lot! Talk later. Let's teach those creatures never to set foot upon this land again. We will defend this place with our lives. Show them there is strength in unity. Do 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 People, how are we? We're fine, at least. They really tore up the place, huh? Sorry. I couldn't stop them. It's not your fault, Kite. Besides, you were the first to come running here. Don't feel bad. You were tending the fields, weren't you? Trying to keep them safe. The whole time. I couldn't just sit back. But... It was hardly any point. You shouldn't put yourself down. You? What are you? If I could just... Thank you very much. Are those? I'm afraid I failed to mention something. Spongy's buds are quite special. They actually use the field itself as a means of storage. That's why you recommended growing them. Astounding. Sorry I doubted you. The reason I didn't trust you before, it wasn't because you were Agnian. No, it's because I was weak. Now, I don't expect you to forgive me or anything like that. But I know I caused hurt. I'm so sorry. Now, come on, raise your head. You refused to give in. You struggled to change things for the better. The way I see it, that's not weakness. Not from what I hear, anyway. You don't... No, you... You don't even know me. Making a change, Kite. It takes guts. You're a good man. We didn't admit it. But then again, neither did you. You know what? No one's ever told me that. I'm sorry about that. I think from now on, I'll make an effort to remind you. Kite, you're an asset to us all. Commander, could I... Could you perhaps help me with a problem? If your offer of support still stands, that is? Sure. Ask us anything. Would it be possible to permit me to visit Colony 9 more frequently? Hmm? That's no issue for me. I'm not directly asking for help with a specific problem, but I'd like it if we could build friendly relations between us. If that's all right. Now I see. Feel free to visit anytime. <laughs> Same here. Uh, very happy to have you. Thank you very much, Kite.
What's all this then? Kite's acting weird. What I'm more worried about is what will happen to the tending of the fields. I'll be sure to ask them, but maybe not right now. Just look. They're having so much fun. Juniper and Kite. That, to me, would be really, really cool. But, we're not here to talk about that. We're... But this time, this... This is it for this episode. Next time, we will actually be doing Triton. And then, hopefully, Fiona's. See you guys then! Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.